Hey Cougs, I'm Mallory, back with your KTHS News. I hope you all had a great Halloween and are having a good start to your week. Let's go ahead and kick it off with some words from Ashton on sports. Good morning Cougs fans, this is Ashton Lux with your KTHS Sports. Varsity football closes off district play this coming Friday at home against Klein King. Congratulations to a few of our senior volleyball girls as last week they received the National 2022 AVCA Best and Brightest Award. First team was Amelie Grosenbusia, Olivia Wright, Jessica Sigmund, Lily Hopkins, and Lindy Godwin. Third team was Peyton Quesnel. Round one of by district playoffs begins today as volleyball travels to Waller High School at 5 p.m. to take on Side Woods. Here's my pregame interview with Coach Williams. Good morning, Coach Williams. Let's start from the beginning. Last year, y'all went 27 and 16 overall, going eight and four in district, securing a playoff spot. In round one, you took on Bridgeland. While it was a super close game, y'all fell short. How did the way last year's season ending fuel this year as y'all are now 32 and 12, going 14 and 0, securing a district championship? Um, the girls really hated the fact that first round we've lost last year, and not only that, but the year before that, same thing. And it really motivated them this year. They were like, we're not getting stuck in first round. We're going beyond that. So that's that's their big drive. Um, losing that playoff match last year was huge motivation for them for this next year. This is your fourth year here. You've had this group of seniors since they were in their freshman year. Do you feel that having this group together since they were younger to now creates a bond or advantage over other teams? Yes, absolutely. I call these girls my babies, obviously, because they were my freshmen when I was the first year here. So, um, yeah, it for sure creates a bond uh, just with the girls and with the, all of us together. It's, it's great. It's been fun. They are my babies. What have been some of your favorite moments or memories from this year? Obviously, going 14 and 0, we we decided early on in the season that we were going going to win district, um, but we made it sweet with the undefeated this year. So it was it was a great treat. There's been about a week gap since y'all played last. How have y'all been able to prepare for tomorrow's matchup? Um, honestly, we've watched a little bit more film. We have taken time to like break down and decide really what we need to do. Um, and just a bit more practice time, which is great for everybody all around. So practicing hard and learning more about our opponent, I, I think I think we're ready. So let's just carry it over tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Good luck. Remember, if you're unable to make today's matchup, stay tuned to my personal Twitter, at Ash and J Lux, and our student media Twitter, at Cougar Claw News, for coverage. That is all for today. I will be back Friday with more, and as always, go Cougs. Now it's time to hear some information from everyone's favorites, Scott and Vierkan. Hey Cougs, happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's got a great start to your morning. Uh, a couple of quick things for this week. First, hey, volleyball playoffs tonight over at Waller. We're playing Side Woods at 5 o'clock, so make plans after school today. Travel over to Waller, support the Lady Cougs on their run through the playoffs. Also this week, we've got our last home football game on Friday. We've got a pep rally on Friday, so make sure you pick up your tickets on Thursday and Friday. Make sure you're wearing your IDs, proper attire required. You know what I'm saying? Pick those tickets up this week. Also, just a reminder, progress reports are coming out. All right? They're going to be available to today, and you'll be able to see, uh, and your parents will be able to see, your first marking period uh, progress report. So let's make sure we're on top of it. This is a very short nine weeks. So again, there's a lot of action, a lot of major assessments, assignments, those kind of things stay on top of it. Also this Friday after school at 3.30, we're having our Cougar dedication out front, right? Turning Point, our new Cougars out there, uh, the artist who uh, created it, and our school board and, and Dr. Z, our superintendent, will be out there as well. So again, come on out 3.30 and welcome our new Cougar to Tomball High School. Other than that, Cougs, it's a great week to be a Cougar. You guys have been doing an exceptional job getting to class on time, wearing your IDs, doing the right thing and taking care of each other. We really appreciate that, and you'll have an awesome day. See you at the game tonight. Hey, seniors, as you can see, we got lots of trash bags here. You can't see them all. There's so many. Um, but make sure you're signing up on that Sign Up Genius link for your appointment time. Please, please, please make sure if you sign up for a time, you're committed to it, and you actually show up. 
Uh, so far, we're 100% on our first day of passing out. No one has stood me up, which is awesome. So thank you for that. Uh, make sure you get those trash bags delivered. Get the money to myself or Miss Lopez, my assistant. And make sure you get a receipt from us when you turn that in. Uh, anyway, uh, the only other things, remember we got our black light uh, pep rally coming up this Friday. We'll be giving out tickets for that on Thursday and Friday. And also seniors, we're going to have uh, the... Uh, senior yearbook if you haven't taken your picture yet with Katie we're going to have a date for you to take those that's going to be November 10th I'm going to be sending out a sign up genius for that also for you to sign up for your appointment times that's about all I got or at least all I can think of right now guys thanks a bunch and have a great day hi I'm Kendall Rickett and I'm Addie Cox and we're part of the Tomball stage with the theater department here at Tomball High School theater will be having a stage meeting tomorrow November 1st in the black box we hope to see you all there. And now on to some interviews with our cast and crew of our upcoming production of Clue. All right, who am I here with today? Uh, Bryler. And what character do you play? Wadsworth. And if you were stuck in Body Manor, who would you choose to team up with? Really? Yeah, Mr. Body. I mean, like, he got this gangster mafioso vibe to him. Yeah, okay, you know, good answer. Yeah, okay, good answer. Thank you. Who am I here with today? Lily. And what character do you play in the show? I play the cook. And if you were stuck in the mansion, who would you choose to team up with? Um, probably Mr. Green, because he seems a little bit more smarter than he looks. That makes sense. Thank you. All right, who am I here with today? Eliza. And what's your role in the show? I'm a stage manager. And if you were stuck in Body Manor, who would you choose to team up with? Uh, probably Miss White. Why? I feel like she knows everything. Like, she looks like she knows everything, and she probably does. All right, thank you. All right, who am I here with today? Uh, Turner Shiel. And what character do you play in the show? Chief of Police. If you were stuck in the mansion, who would you choose to team up with? I would say Mrs. Peacock, because if we were together... You know, if someone tried to murder us, I could push her in the way of the murderer, and I could get away. Okay, good answer. Thank you. All right, who am I here with today? Braden Smith. And what character do you play in the show? The Unexpected Cop. If you were stuck in Body Manor, who would you choose to team up with? Um, maybe Wadsworth, because, like, they know the information about the house and a lot of facts. Mm -hmm. They can get us out there just in case if anything happens. That's a really good answer. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations to those who competed over the weekend at the academic UIL meet in Waller. The THS mats of Cassie Brown, Anandra Lapali, Zarian Shiraz, and Daniel Hoffmaster took third in calculator, while the journalism events, Emma Parada took fourth place in the news writing and second in the feature writing, while Cindy Arnold Thomas took fourth in the news writing. Great job to everyone. That's all we have for you today, Cougars, and we will see you on Friday. As always, go Cougs.